Hi, Eric with Pure Vita Fitness, personal training, uh, Lakeville, Burnsville, Apple Valley. Uh, we're here to talk today about prepping for running season. I know when we look outside, it's not real pretty, it's cold, there's still that white ugly stuff out there today. But we got to start thinking about it. it's getting nice pretty soon, we want to be ready for running. Because one of the biggest problems I see with people that get out and run, haven't been running, or been running on a treadmill all, all winter, which is a lot easier on your joints than the hard pavement. And you get out there and run on the pavement, you get something like a shin splint or you pull a calf. And we don't want that to happen, so now is the time to start prepping. And before your runs, there's four things you can do that can really help prep you for running. And we, uh, we want to do uh, these four things to help your body uh, distribute the way your foot strikes the ground, helps you distribute that force more efficiently through the body. And two of them affect the hips, and two of them affect the calves. So, number one is we're going to get on this wonderful foam roller that I call the bottom the calves. We're going to get on here. We're going to get our calf, we're going to roll each calf out very thoroughly. So I'm going to roll, I'm going to turn this calf out, and I'm going to roll, I'm going to get up here, and I'm going to roll down this outside of my calf, looking for any kind of knots. I'm going to always catch my arms up, so my arms are all kind of lined up, wrist, elbows, and shoulders. If I find a spot, I'm going to sit on it, and I'm going to work that spot out. Once I get to the top, I'm going to roll down the middle, and work back in the same fashion down the middle of my calf. It's kind of like mowing your lawn. I call it mowing the calves with the foam roller. And then I'm going to work to the inside. I'm going to make sure all that soft tissue down on my calves is nice and loose. Especially women, if you're wearing heels during the day, this is essential for you. So this is, uh, this is number one, is calf foam rolling. You're going to work each calf out thoroughly, work out all the tight spots. When you find one, remember, once again, just sit on it. You can stretch, lengthen and shorten that calf with your foot. And sit on that spot until you break it out. So roll on the outside, the middle, and the inside. Okay, the other one we're going to do we're going to actively warm up the calves. We're going to get something. It can be a 2 by 4 It can be a book. Whatever works. We're going to bend here. Hinge at the hips. Keep our knees straight. We're going to come down and hold for a couple seconds. Doing elevated toe touches. We're going to do about 10 to 15 of these. This is just going to dynamically warm up my calves. And kind of slowly work down. I'm going to do 10 to 15 toe touches for my calves. Once I'm done there, I'm going to, I'm going to go in. I'm going to target my hips. Now, my hips is, there's a joint in my foot called the cuboid joint. You've maybe seen me do this before. We do something called water toe pulse. And they target a joint right in the outside of the foot that turns, basically turns the hip on. If this joint is collapsed or locked, my hip does not fire as good. My hips are, are, are going to take on a lot of the shock for my running, for my lower back and my knees. So I need my hips to work. It's essential. So I'm going to go right here. Put my foot on a bolster. Make sure there's no cramping in my foot. If there is, I'm going to move it back a little farther. I'm going to set up my foot here. I'm just going to pulse down and slowly I'm pushing out, opening up this inner, this inner little valley right in front of the outer ankle bone here. Just real slow, about three to five times. That turns on your hip. That ensures your hip is turned on. And then to follow that, I'm going to just kind of fire those hips up a little more and do a little lateral tube walking. So I'm going to get a piece of tubing here, stand on it here. right in the middle of my foot here, and I'm going to do some tube shuffling. A little bit of a shuffle position, I'm not going to let this back leg fly up. The back leg is more important than the front. I don't want it to let it just kind of slam up, I want to control it. I'm going to do 15 to 20 each direction, I can do one to two sets. That's going to turn 